let's say, very complex and uh, rich his, uh, history. Uh, second of all, is because, because of our very diverse, let's say, ecosystem. So we've got uh, beautiful mountains, we've got beautiful, a beautiful sea, we've got a, a delta, which is very interesting and unique in the area. In Europe. In Europe, actually, yeah, yeah, Europe. yeah, in Europe. And uh, lastly, as because we, we talked about uh, a lot about the food, uh, we've got actually lots of influences. We've got Hungarian influences, we've got Turkish influences, we've got Greek influences. So actually, we've got lots of influences for sorry, yeah, Russian influences from all over the place. I can explain. In Romania, we have two types of food. We have the cold food and the hot food. Like everybody. Like everybody. Like we start with the cold, with the meat. With the cold starters. Yes. Yeah. And uh, in the country, I want to be everything wonderful. And uh, I spoke with the owner of the places where we stop to eat to make everything wonderful. It was so good. And they put a lot of cold uh, dishes. When we come to the hot ones, Everybody was everybody. everybody. For, for the moment, uh, it's enough, and they don't catch the the hot part. And, and nobody Korean say food. to me nothing about this just until the end. <laughs> and uh, I understand at the end that normally Irish people love the hot meals. Yes, <laughs> not Italian. <laughs> general, general. Irish people love the hot meals. Yes. We have chance to eat maybe once or twice in all these days good hot meals yeah. because the rest of the time we start with the big plates of uh, cold starters and after that... Uh, so on the Transylvania spirit part, here we're trying to link two of the most famous uh, regions, let's say in Romania, the region of Maramures and the region of Bukovina. Uh, they are very, very rich in uh, churches and monasteries. They are very be beautifully painted monasteries uh, as they were, uh, let's say, unique in style and uh, 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 they were like an emblem for the victories of uh, Romanian medieval princes, which is very interesting to, to, to say. Yeah, obviously we were very, very... We had many, many battles with Turkey, so in that, uh, in that context we, we, we celebrated the victories with building of monasteries and, and churches in Maramuris, but more in, in uh, the region of uh, north of Moldova, which is uh, Bukovina. Uh, <clears throat> also, pretty interesting thing, a new, let's say, a new take on death. You can visit the Mary Cemetery in, the, uh, in Maramuris, which is, uh, let's say, uh, celebrates death in a different way with li uh, lively paintings and uh, funny texts on the, on the tombs. One, uh, one, one text uh, says like this, one more thing I loved very much, to sit at a table in a bar next to someone else's wife. So you can see the... Twice. Sure, they did a famous Irish composer who heard and Rita Connor his wife. They devoted a CD to Mary Cemetery for and they composed a beautiful music to uh, symbol it. It's a beautiful, the Romanian spirit and the Irish voices. It's one of the most amazing music that I've heard about the Mary Cemetery. Also, another another interesting fact is that you can take actually the the uh, a steel a, a steam train built in 1932, which will take you across all the northern all, all the northern lands of uh, Maramures. And uh, next, I'll just show you some images. So this you can see this actually the, it's a very traditional image. You can see the traditional costumes and the traditional interior design of the houses in the Maramures. So it's very very conservative society up there. Very rural. Very rural, yeah, yeah. Very beautiful. This is the Romania that I'm talking about. Yes, very, very rural and conservative. Here is the Mary Cemetery, which I told you about. So those are actually the tombs, and you can see uh, here are the 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 paint, the funny, the funny uh, paintings, and then you have down there the text, which is very, let's say, another take on death, which is very interesting. Uh, here is the steam train, which I was talking about. Very, very cozy inside. And you can admire all the beautiful landscapes as you as you run through the uh, through the county. And this is one of the uh, painted churches in north of Bukovina. 
unique. It's an outdoor yeah. venue that some seasons are dry. Yes. That's mm -hmm. the Voronets, that. mm -hmm. which is a beautiful it's Voronets a blue. It's a unique. So you can see the blue there, the blue their color, which is considered as a blue, the, that blue is a unique in the world. You cannot actually uh, replicate, rep yes. replicate it. Yeah, yeah. All these are UNESCO heritage buildings. Obviously, here we we are uh, trying uh, trying to promote also the region of Transylvania. With yeah. so it is a good label. It's, yes. it's a good label. Yeah, yeah, it's a good label. But yeah. Charles is a good promoter of Romania. He made he is, a wonderful yeah. one, uh, documentary about the mountains, the Carpathian mountains. And I, it is not a joke. I initially, I thought a joke that he's a, a, a descendant of Count Dracula of Dracula. He believes he's a that makes sense. Good, right? <laughs> 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 it's beautiful. But he bought beautiful property and then he raised very much the area of Transylvania when he bought properties and he encouraged the local skills and peasants to, you know, do their traditional sort of carpet and yeah, he developed a lot of the tourism in the of Romania. Yeah, we're very great. And here we have also the here we have also the very very beautiful uh, let's say villages which are protected by by the UNESCO and uh, are very old also very conservative to the traditions and they're trying to keep all the architecture the same if they're renovating and reconditioning other other buildings. Uh, but I'll show you some pictures in a second. Uh, obviously, we start with uh, Brahms Castle. Uh, here you have look. Th so this is a very, very Transylvanian, let's say, uh, village with fortified gates and fortified churches. Which is what city? This is the the, the city of uh, Mihai Vitiazu. It's called in Transylvania. Yeah. <coughs> Sigishwara, the birthplace of Dracula, is the best preserved medieval city in Europe. Yes. It's a beautiful. This remaining oh. medieval fortress yeah. in Europe. This is a very, very traditional the last one where people still live inside. Yeah, it's from 1,600, I believe, and uh, still people live there. This is another type of village with the with the fortified walls uh, protecting the inner city. Also, still, still on the uh, Transylvanian note, we're also trying to trying to show you guys the the uh, healing spas and retreats in, in uh, as as you you come probably you want to relieve a bit of stress. But with, with that, we're trying also to promote the Beers Cave, which you, you guys might probably have been, been to. Uh, it's also very, very, very interesting as it has an impressive uh, quantity of fossils of cave beer, black goat, lion, and cave yeah, like hyena. Yeah, yeah. Like no, no, no. no. <laughs> not beer, not beer, yeah. yeah. Not, not the Guinness, not the Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is an image of one of these spas in in uh, northwest of Transylvania, and this is the image inside of the bear's cave. Bear. Did I say it correctly? Bear. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, being from Cluj, being. Uh, Raised in Cluj and Cluj being the capital, of the capital of Transylvania, the heart of Transylvania, as as they say, uh, it was awarded the European Youth Capital in 2015 by the European uh, European Commission. Uh, the city is also uh, being it's famous about its two, let's say, clubs. Also, its nightlife. It's those basically those two clubs are in the top 100. But. Uh, uh, let me uh, tell you on this note, as we have one of the most famous uh, music festivals right now, it's called the uh, Untold Festival. Untold. Untold Festival. Uh, DJs like David Guetta, mm. Calvin Harris, massive, huge one. It's a huge one. 30,000 people last year, sorry? Tiesto. Tiesto, yeah, yeah. You, if you like it, I can say it, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Perfect. So the last, actually the last summer was the second, the second edition of the festival, which uh, brought to close around 40 or between 40 or 45,000 uh, visitors and party, party people across the globe. Uh, also around the outskirts of Cluj, around the area of Cluj, you have the, the city of Bonsida, it's called, which is a very interesting castle right there, owned by a, uh, let's say, a royal family. Uh, also it's a place for another festival, another very famous festival, uh, Electric Castle, if you, Skrillex played there, if you know about Skrillex. I'm sure you know you know him. I have I have some images, yeah. Also, the salt mine in Turda, which was a place 
of uh, uh, it, there were filmed lots of uh, Hollywood movies such as Dark Knight. Also, Jared Leto is uh, from Hollywood. Is is also was an ambassador, let's say, of of, of the salt mine in the United States. Uh, here, are, this is Bonsida. This is the castle around uh, Cluj Napoca. Another competition from Ireland. Ireland is full of castles. Yes, but it is. Mm, Romania, I think, has better ones. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty, pretty medieval-like castles, they which you can see in the, in the TV show Game of Thrones if you watch Game of Thrones by any chance. This is the salt mine from up. So you can see there the lake actually, which my, which which uh, he talk she talks about. You can actually go by boat on this on this lake. Yeah. Did you have you been there, Mrs. Ambassador? No, so yeah, it's have you been there since renovation? I've never been. Oh, you've never been. Okay. I right. know more the world than I can. Right. Yeah. So actually, you can see the futuristic yeah. design over there, which is which is pretty interesting as well. And uh, there is a tour across Romania, visiting, uh, uh, stopping at all the important objectives, uh, tourist touristic objectives there. You can see the Pelesh Castle, which is a uh, it's in the style of German New Renaissance, mm -hmm. which was the uh, castle of uh, was, was the winter castle of the That's Romanian right. kings. kings. Yeah. yeah, yeah, was the winter castle of the Romanian kings. Still, the last head of state from the Second World War, who is the king of Romania, lives yeah. there. Yeah, lives there. You see the famous uh, Parliament of Romania, which is the second biggest administrative uh, building across the world, yeah. second only to Pentagon. Uh, built obviously in the Ceausescu in the communist regime. Here is the very interesting Hobbit uh, hotel in the ve in the in the Valley of Fairies. So you actually can you can stay there during the nights. You can actually spend the nights. So you can spend the nights and and wander in the in the forest over there. This is the old town of Bucharest, which I'm sure some of you probably know, probably been. See loads of restaurants. The nightlife in Bucharest is one of the best, in my opinion, as I, I, I traveled a lot in Europe, to be honest, and like in Bucharest, I've never had... Yes. My son's too. Yes. Too they, they love it. I mean, it's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, lastly, a unique place uh, in Europe, the Danube Delta, which act, it's, I have literally no words actually to, to describe it as it's full of wonders. You've got 183 <coughs> uh, species of plants, trees, uh, many, 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 hundreds of thousands of uh, species of insects, reptiles, and birds. It's literally unique, unique in the in the uh, in the in Europe. You have also the Letia forest, which is the northernmost subtropical forest in Europe, which is an interesting fact. And you can admire the wild horses there. So actually, there are wi wild horses which you can actually see. In the in the forest. Can I make a comment? I yeah. have to intervene. As a good <laughs> Romanian, you know, I was ambassador to Australia as well, and I went to my family to visit the Kakadu Kakadu National Park. So we went for miles, and they showed us look a bird, look a snake, yes. look, and I said, what is this guy wetland? <laughs> and then when he goes to Delta of Danube, you know, it's so full of life, and I said, why Kakadu National Park is more famous than Delta of Danube? I can't understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> Luckily, the ambassador of Australia is not here. Very, very. <laughs> Let's say a picture from up there. Yeah, and maybe it's not the most. It's relevant yeah, 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 yeah. You can see actually the pack of pelicans over there. A diverse uh, ecosystem in, in Delta. And let me tell you something because. Sturgeons, sturgeons, a caviar. You know, there are a few places in the world that it's Iran. Russia, I think, Russia, and Romania has the best caviar. So in Delta of the New, the sturgeon come and breed, and so now there are protected species. There would be a lot of illegal fishing for this yeah. caviar. But Romania is one of the countries. I saw yesterday a TV program. They said, which are the, the 10 foods to eat before you die? Caviar is one of them. So who never tried caviar should... Amazing, and and amazing, and amazing, amazing dishes of yeah. fish, soup. Fish on the grill, everything based on fish, amazing and very, very so mouth watering. Food by the fish are so good. Yes. Yeah. Good food. Small. Mouth, <laughs> mouth watering. This is just a small part of Romania. Yes. And just to end, let me actually, guys, thank you for, for coming and actually investing your time in this. We really appreciate it, as, as is the first uh, 
event, let's say, organized maybe by... Maybe we managed to stimulate a little bit that curiosity. We are not yes. the best, maybe, to explain and promote us. And, but I think, as you saw, Romania is very outgoing, Absolutely. similar to the Irish, very hospitable, very, very hospitable. It's a starting and, point. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's a strength. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. So now you go and try some Romanian food made in our yeah. environment. <laughs>